Okay, in a previous video, we derived the formula of a plane that is tangent to a given surface at a point. And so let's recall what we got out of that. So given a surface defined by this function of two variables, z equals f of x, y, the tangent plane at a, b is given by the following equation. So we have z equals f of a, b, so notice that's just a number, plus the partial derivative with respect to x evaluated at a, b times x minus a, and then the partial derivative with respect to y evaluated at a, b times y minus b. So it's that object. So in this video, we're going to do a couple of examples. So let's look at this one. We have f of x, y equals x times e to the x, y, and we want to look at 1 comma 0. In other words, x equals 1, y, comma, y equals 0. Okay, so we need these two partial derivatives. So the partial derivative with respect to x is going to be given by, notice here we need to use the product rule. So the derivative of x is just 1, so we have e to the xy plus x times the derivative of e to the xy with respect to x, but by the chain rule, the y is going to come down and we're going to get e to the xy again. Okay, good. And now we need to evaluate that at the point 1, 0. So let's see what we get when we do that. So we'll plug in x equals 1, y equals 0. So we get e to the 0, which is 1, plus 0, because we have this y 0 term there. So that's just 1. Okay, now let's look at f sub y, the partial with respect to y. So here, all the x's are constants, so this is actually a bit shorter. Notice that's going to give us x squared times e to the y. Again, x is a constant, so when we do the chain rule, the x comes down. Okay, good. Now we're going to evaluate this at 1, 0, and we get 1 times e to the 0, which is 1. So we get 1. Okay, so now one more thing that we need is f of 1, 0. In other words, that point, that's this part of that equation. So if we plug 1, 0 into this equation, we're going to get 1 again. Okay, so we've got lots of 1s. And now notice our equation of our tangent plane is going to be given by z equals 1. That's this thing right here. Plus 1 times x minus the x part plus 1 times y minus the y part. So we've got something like that. Now we can simplify that out a little bit. So notice we're going to get uh, z equals x plus y. Notice these ones are going to cancel. So this is the equation of our tangent plane in this case. All right, I'll clean up the board and then we'll do another example. Okay, so the next example I want to look at is this. So we have z equals sine of 2x plus 3y at negative 3 2. Okay, so uh, let's look at the partial with respect to x. I'll just call that z sub x. And notice here we're going to get uh, cosine 2x plus 3y times the derivative of 2x plus 3y with respect to x. That's going to give us a 2. Okay, good. Now let's evaluate this at negative 3, 2. And notice that's going to give us 2 times cosine of 0. That's what we get when we plug that in there. Uh, but cosine of 0 is 1, so we just get 2. Okay, good. Now, uh, z sub y, the partial with respect to y. So we're going to have pretty much the same thing, but now we'll have 3 cosine 2x plus 3y. Evaluate that at negative 3, 2. Notice we're going to get 3. Okay, good. Now, let's evaluate this whole function at negative 3, 2. And notice that's going to give us sine of 0, which is equal to 0. Okay, good. Now we're ready to plug this into our formula. So we'll have z equals 0 from this part right here plus 2 times x plus 3. So this is the x part of the vector, x minus the x part of the point and then plus 3 times y minus 2. So we've got something like that. So now let's see if we can simplify that pretty quick. So this is going to be 2x plus 3y, and then we have 6 minus 6, so we just get 2x plus 3y here. Okay, good. I think this is a pretty good place to stop this video.